All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Office getting ready to do a story on huh, this bill could take down Biden's agenda. Yesterday, he put out all kinds of little measures, and it's just stupid. It's, again, it's the talking points and yada, 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 and everybody's doing all freaking out. Well, nothing can happen without Congress getting involved. This is a bill that could take down all of uh, Joe Biden's uh, gun control policies and all the other previous bills that were approved and signed into law by his dumb ass. So let's talk about this. Lauren Borbert, this is a Bobert, Bobert, The Hill. This is authored by Ola Fimehan. Sheen. This came out yesterday at 6.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's basically, Bobert offers bills to repeal bipartisan gun control measure. Okay, well, let's just talk about it. She's a little bit of a nutcase, right? Uh, but I do enjoy and appreciate someone who wants to protect our Second Amendment rights. So, you know, go Lauren. All right, here we go. So, Representative Lauren Bobert has introduced a bill to repeal bipartisan gun control measures passed by Congress last year. Uh, Bobert's proposed bill, the shall not be in Infringed Act, I like that, shall not be infringed act, would repeal the gun control provisions and every Second Amendment infringement. Okay, it's a little wacky. It's out there, but at least she's trying. She's trying. She's putting forth the effort, right? Uh, every second, uh, second Amendment infringement that was passed by the 117th Congress and signed into law by President O'Biden. Yeah, uh, if you ask the guy, I about doubt he'll even remember doing it. That includes the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, the 2023 Omnibus Appropriations Bill, and the Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act of 2023 and the 2023 National Defense Authorization Act, according to the bill. Because all those little itty-bitty bills, the Omnibus Bill, the National Defense Authorization Act, they encapsulate. This is how they get sneak bills in there, is they throw them in there, and hopefully no one will notice. The bill enhanced background checks for gun purchasers between the age of 18 and 21 uh i know why but again this is a feel good thing feel good measure we're doing something made obtaining firearms to withdraw purchases or trafficking a federal offense that i thought they were already a federal offense and incentivized uh man i said that right states to pass red flag laws which seek to keep guns away from people deemed a threat to themselves or others, among other provisions. You know, and the interesting thing about the red flag laws, we go back to those things again and again and again. But what, who is able to, you know, report you as a person who could be an individual who could hurt other people and everything else? Usually, the jackasses that uh, are in trouble, no one reports them or says anything to them. I mean, hell. You write a letter saying, or a manifesto that says, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and put it out in public. Man, holy shnikes. Okay, the legislation was drafted in response to a string of mass shootings that occurred. All right, so we have to go into the why did all these other things, why were they? Uh, because they got to justify themselves, uh, which included massacres at a supermarket in Buffalo Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Uh, there's a special place in hell for all those individuals. Bobert's bill would also repeal provisions from the 2023 omnibus appropriations bill such as cutting the bureau of alcohol tobacco and firearms and explosives 14.1 percent budget increase defunding federal programs that track where veterans are storing their guns you guys know about this leave a comment down below if you have any experience with this and why the hell they want to do that other than hey they feel it's necessary we got to track you you're not capable of taking care of yourselves. This is big government because they feel that everybody needs them at all times. Uh, and efforts to promote so-called safe storage. All right, Bober's proposal legislation was co-sponsored by 16 other GOP lawmakers, including Representatives Byron Donalds, Representative of Florida, uh, Andy Ogles, Tennessee, Mary Miller, Illinois, and Paul Gozer, Arizona. Arizona's kind of doing their thing right now. It's kind of interesting to see what's going to happen. We might have to do a video on that later on. Here's what she says, quote, I unapologetically support the Second Amendment. No amount of gun control will ever eliminate evil in our society, and unsurprisingly, the data has shown time and again that gun control does not decrease gun violence, Bubber said in a statement. Eh. And here is a quote again. This is a really good one, too. Uh, it is ironic that the same people who are calling to defend, defund the police also want to leave everyday Americans defenseless. 
they're all right. So this is my whole thing. It's my personal belief. Okay, all these guys they're pro-choice. Okay, so go kill your baby if you want. Well, some of them up to the date of birth, right? They want to take away your guns. They want to take away your ability. They're allowing prisoners uh, to come out early. This is part of that whole uh, the Arizona thing that I'm talking about here in a little bit. No cash bail. Uh, the poor criminals, they don't have a choice in the matter because they need a place to live or they need food, uh, or soap. Okay. Uh, and she goes on to say, uh, I will always stand against this nonsense and stand for law abiding Americans and the constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, she might be a dingbat. Okay. However, um, uh, She's on board with this, and I can appreciate where she's going with this thing. So uh, with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below, okay? Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. And uh, we also not just do new stuff, but we do gun stuff. So in the evening, I know those, those videos are hard-pressed to be uh, accepted by the folks over there at YouTube. So we kind of just do them in the evening, just sneak them in there. But we're going to be talking about uh, transitioning and reconfigurating reconfigurating uh what i use is my everyday tote to where we're going to make the change and how we're going to make it so with that being said guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so support the red white and blue god bless america god bless men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free because freedom comes in a big old fat cup of coffee uh black and uh like the real cobra burnout always says boom i'm out of here y'all be good